guys, Miss Owens here. I'm so glad that you could join me so that we could preview our author study lesson that we're going to be doing up in the Media Center tomorrow. I also wanted to let you know that I'm going to be on Twitter tonight from 7 to 7.30, so if you can join me for that media chat, just make sure that you tweet at buckcorn underscore high and use the hashtag author study lingle. That's L-E-N-G-L-E. -E. So for tomorrow's author study, we will be studying Madeline Lingle. Let's get started with one of her most famous quotes. You have to write the book that wants to be written. And if the book will be too difficult for grown-ups, then you write it for children. Madeline Lingle was an American writer and poet. She is the author of more than 30 books and has won eight distinguished awards for her writing. She's best known for her young adult fiction, particularly the Newbery Medal winning A Wrinkle in Time. And its sequels, A Wind in the Door, A Swiftly Tilting Planet, Many Waters, and An Acceptable Time. Her work reflects both her Christian faith and her strong interest in modern science. She's also known for her writings, teachings, and seminars on faith and art, combining spirituality and creativity. She's not easily categorized. She has book titles that can be classified as literary and fiction or serious fiction, science fiction and fantasy, biographies and memoirs, as well as some poetry. I'm not a children's writer, she says. I'm not a Christian writer. I resist and reject that kind of classification. I'm a writer, period. People underestimate children. They think you have to write differently. You don't. You just have to tell a story. Even though she is difficult to classify, her works do reflect her strong interest in modern science. Tesseracts, for example, are featured prominently in A Wrinkle in Time, Mitochondrial DNA in A Wind in the Door, and Organ Regeneration in the Arm of the Starfish. Let me introduce you to Ms. Lingle's most famous creation, Meg Murray O'Keefe. There are characters and then there are creations, fictional people who nonetheless seem to exist among us, independently of the story they are created to tell. Atticus Finch, Holden Caulfield, or even Harry Potter. For half a century, Meg Murray, the unhappy, awkward jump protagonist of Madeline Lingle's A Wrinkle in Time, has been among these figures. Meg Murray is a stubborn teenager who hates being different, though different she is. She is a self-conscious high school student in the first two books about the Murray family, and an adult in the third. She wears glasses, has braces, and mouse brown hair, and considers herself repulsive looking and dumb, although she is quite good at math. However, Calvin O'Keefe describes Meg's eyes to be beautiful dreamboat eyes. As a misfit with an odd young brother, and in the first book of Missing Father, she is defensive in her dealings with people outside her family and is unpopular with her peers and her teachers. Despite all of that, Meg Murray is a hero in A Wrinkle in Time. Meg Murray, her little brother Charles Wallace, and their mother are having a midnight snack on a dark and stormy night when an unearthly stranger appears at their door. She claims to have been blown off course and goes on to tell them that there is such a thing as a tesseract, which if you didn't know, is a wrinkle in time. Meg's father had been experimenting with time travel when he suddenly disappeared. Will Meg, Charles Wallace, and their friend Calvin outwit the forces of evil as they search through space for her father? A Wrinkle in Time is very much like the Harry Potter book in that it is about boys and girls in a magical or fantasy setting. It is unlike the Potter books because it does not focus on wizardry as a craft. Instead, it presents the universe as full of wonder and united by a titanic struggle of good versus evil. Like the Potter books, there are sequels to Wrinkle in Time, and the story of the Murray kids continue for decades. One of the things I like best about writing is that when there are problems in a book, I can resolve them. In life, it's not so easy. Well, guys, it's a good thing I gave you a preview of Madeline Lingle because now you've got a big problem. You're the press agent for the Madeline Lingle Foundation, and you receive hundreds of messages a day from all her fans asking all kinds of questions. You really want to keep her memory alive, but you just don't have the time. So you've decided to design a website that her fans can access, which will give them the answers to the many questions that they've been asking. So here's your mission, and it's not impossible. You're going to design a webpage which contains everything that anyone would ever want to know about Madeline Lingle, and here's how you're going to do it. 
You're going to write an introduction for visitors to the site explaining the purpose of the site. You're going to include lots of pictures of Madeline Lingle on the site. You're going to tell the readers about her background. You're also going to create a frequently asked question section. You're going to list the novels published by Madeline Lingle as well as have a link from each novel to a site that contains the description of that novel. You're going to read at least one of Madeline Lingle's novels and write a book review about it and design a book poster to be added to our site. Y'all are lucky you're working with a nice media specialist. I'm going to let you guys work in groups and as you can see we're going to have four groups which means we will have four sections of the website and each group will be responsible for one section of the website and we're going to talk more about those details tomorrow so um, don't forget your independent assignment though that's going to be due in two weeks which is going to require you to read at least one of Madeline Lingle's novels write a book review on that novel and also design a book poster to be added to our site I have prepared a short pathfinder, not all the resources that you can use, just a few of them to get us started. Um, and if you want to access this at home tonight, then feel free. You can also use your cell phone and scan this QR code to access our OPAC so that if you want to check and see if the book you're interested in is available. You're going to be graded on the quality of your writing as well as the content of your website. Make sure that you reflect your best effort. Make sure that the welcome message is informative. Make sure your book review generates interest without giving away too many details. Is the frequently asked question list interesting and accurate? And not last but not least, is your book poster visually appealing? At the conclusion of our project, you will have learned a lot more about Madeline Lingle than you knew at the beginning. In addition, our website will create interest for her work and encourage others to read her novels. Okay guys, that's the end of the preview. I do have one more favor to ask of you. This is the top 10 reasons to do an author study, and I would love it if you would share this with your other teachers so that they will schedule time in the Media Center to come up and do more author studies. So, alright, we'll see you tomorrow.